It's Dave Johan for the Boxing Voice. Please be joined by Patrick J. Killen, the, How you doing, man? the, uh, the world famous artist now, I'll have I to say. I don't know about world, but. But uh, an impressive Good piece again, Patrick. You're Thanks, here you in Manchester. Talk about the, uh, the work and then we'll get your opinion on the fight. Well, obviously, all British class. I had to get that British flag in there, you know. I had to get that in the background. And I tried to blend it out a bit um, and get them clashing in the middle. Um, well, actually, I think I got that. I was trying to find the right pieces that would fit together to create that... that um, that motion before the fight. It's quite funny because people sort of, you know what it's like on YouTube and stuff, people slag you off and say, oh, it's the wrong shorts, wrong gloves. But at the end of the day, this is like a commemorate the fight or the event before the fight. And this is, my, this is what I've come up with. So, you, I mean, you, you've, you've uh, painted some fabulous pieces as well. For example, the one that springs to mind for me is all the works you've done on Ali and also the AJ versus Ruiz uh, one and two clash as well. AJ versus Klitschko, you've done that one as well. But this fight is something special in England. How big do you think this is? A, this event is compared to uh, compared to those events? I was thinking about it. Um, you know, a lot of people saying this should have happened years back. But what you have to remember. They've built a great profile each other, you know. They let you know they've really built a good platform. That they, 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 you know, they, they've got a great career behind both of them, both world champions. And I think making it now makes the fight bigger, in a sense, you know. And I, and I think there's a lot more interest in it because it should have happened, but but then it should have, you know. I think everything's timing as well. Everything works out for a reason in a, in a way. And I think this is going to be, it's, it's a great clash. I think everybody's excited about it. Maybe more excited than they would have been, you know, a few years back. So, so what do you think then? If you had to put your last pound on there, because some people are saying it's a 50-50 speed versus power. What, what, what's your thoughts on this well, then? What, what do you reckon? I, I, personally, if you look at the, the gloves are off things, you know, you look at the... Uh, Brook looks more rattled than Khan. Khan is very calm. Because one, one thing, he's got nothing to lose. He's got absolutely nothing to lose. And, you know, I suppose Brook has built, he's been calling for his line, going to knock you out, knock you out. He's built a lot of pressure for himself. I mean, all, you know, all fights do that anyway. And there is a lot of pressure on him to win. So I can see, you know, why Khan is very relaxed and sort of coming into this. Um, I personally think it's really, it is really close fight. I mean, at the end of the day, who lands first, probably? Khan, I can see him really using his boxing ability and, st and keeping at the distance, a really nice distance. If he does that with a fast, the fa because Brooke wants to get in close. He wants to get in and he wants to have a tear up. And he keeps telling him, I want to tear up in the middle. I want to tear up in the middle. And... I don't think you'll bite that. I think you'll really keep it keep it sharp and, and at a distance and keep it long. That's the game plan. Will he stick to it? Will he get caught in between? You know, that's that's the thing. If he gets caught, he could he could go. You know. So you think he'll be calm then? Yeah. And do you think um, do you think after this fight as well? I mean, uh, th there'll be a rematch because there has, there has been talks of a rematch clause, hasn't there? Well, if it's a rematch clause, yeah. Why not? If it's a good fight, if it's a good fight, it's a good. You know, if it, if it, if it, if it, if it if it goes with a build-up and everything, then why not? You know, it probably would be, and it probably be, in a, you know, if it's a really good fight, you could be in a bigger venue again, Wembley or something. You know, British class at Wembley. You know, the last one there, as Cal Brook would say, uh, Cal Froch, in front of seventy thousand or eighty thousand people. <laughs> well, this, well, this is it. Well, look, uh, you'll be there. I take it. <laughs> but uh, I, I t <laughs> It's got my bloody tough. Oh, have you? Yeah. I'll take that yeah. part, don't worry. No, 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 it's fine. I've got to get it sorted. I was going to say, um, I'll take it you'll be there on Saturday night, ringside watching? Well, or? I'm going to be exhibiting at the Crown Plaza, so if anybody is uh, around, they want to come and see the work, they want to buy some things and stuff, it's a memorable piece. Uh, come and see me, I'll be, I'll be around. And um, I probably will go. I mean, it's a, it's a crack, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and uh, just to... Uh, for people that know, know your site, if you can just tell people where uh, to follow you, that'd be great. Yeah, chillianart.com is my website. Uh, follow me on Instagram, chillian underscore art. And just, you know, find me on Google and stuff. Brilliant. But, uh, thanks for the interview. Thanks, man. No See problem. You. Cheers, Patrick. And uh, we'll be watching as well. And uh, well done on this uh, great piece. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share.
as always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, Entitled, Betting Shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, or promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.